so in this video i would like to show you lsp mode for emacs so lsp is actually language server protocol so it's having some nice advantages while you're using this as like if you're using this for uh, emacs while you're programming this is having like uh, intelligent completions it's having like intelligent error messages and all the other stuff so you can go to lsp modes website and you can see the installation steps over here so i'm just going to show you my configuration anyway so you have options for doom you have options for space max you have options for vanilla emax and uh, you can use whichever completion ui you want so that's that so in one of my previous videos i've already set up company mode so it's just like uh, use package company mode and just make sure all the things are required for that here we are just uh, telling emacs to download use pack like lsp mode use package lsp mode and make sure it's installed and if you are on straight.el just replace the intro with straight and you have uh, lsp tree max so this is going to give me some completion ui for this case and i have this add hook for c mode hook so while i'm activating c language this is going to open up lsp and while i'm activating c plus plus it's going to have lsp and similarly for python it's going to have lsp so the thing is you need to have your language backend installed in your system so for python you can install like sudo pip install python language server for C, you can install CLangD. So for C and C++, you can use CLangD. It works. And in this line, we are adding like, uh, we are telling Emacs like, whenever e Emacs's LSP mode is enabled, we are asking it to integrate which key along with that. And this is for my YAS snippet. That's like, I forgot to enable YAS global mode. So I just put it right over there. It's, uh, it's not required for this configuration but if you are using yas snippet and uh, you don't have that enabled you can enable that somewhere so control x control f so sample this is going to be the directory slash uh, main.c so it will ask you like this whether you need to import the project root stuff like that so you can hit i to import the root according to the suggestion so if you need to select the root directory interactively you can hit shift and i and if you need your current working directory to be your project directory just hit a period or a dot and you can see all these options over here so i'm just going to close that out I have this file inside my code and see i have this example file just going to open that up so likewise you can see over here i have my project directory ex and i have my file name over here so like for example if i want to import math library if i type like uh, somewhere over here if i type hash inc it's going to give me this intelligent suggestion and it's going to give me an error like if i haven't done it completely so header file not found you can see that over here in this section so i'm just going to type math so have math.h so just let me reduce the font size a little bit so you have options for that and you can select something like math.h and it will do the intelligent completions so i'm just going to cancel that out and you have options for like uh, it will give you definition for something so if you hover over your mouse over the you can see like uh, it'll give you like some details about the function so for example i just hovered over scanf you can see what it does what parameters it takes stuff like that and here if you go to something else similarly it will give you that so that's a nice thing with this so it's giving you like uh, error checking syntax completion and uh, some verbose information so if i type pri you can see this so you can give the 
arguments over the instead if i just type for you can see i have this initial statement so i equals zero meanwhile if you don't have something properly set up it will give you an error like this so that's one thing so i just don't want all this stuff just going to delete them for now so that's pretty much it for this video i hope uh, this one was helpful and i hope you all have a wonderful day